All right, man. So, like, this is a culmination of a bunch of things that I've been having in my head. So, like, last week, I was watching, I don't know how I was, I ended up at that point in the room. I was watching, um, something on YouTube. It was like an MSNBC thing, and they were talking about masculinity. I don't know how I fell, fell into that situation, but the one thing they kept talking about was... Oh, they kept complaining that people that play video games weren't masculine, which I don't, I don't understand with playing video games. I don't understand what escape, people's versions of escapism has to do with masculinity. I don't know. I don't even like the, the, in, in the, 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 into, is it intonation? I don't know. But I don't like the, the assumption that only guys play video games. Bitch, I was playing video games, like, the other day. But whatever. But they were talking about, like, video games aren't masculine. And the one guy kept saying, oh, well, like, my daughter would date these guys. And then she was like, I would ask her, like, in a couple of weeks, like, how's it going? And she was like, no, they just wanted to play video games. And, and I'm just like... Okay, so your biggest beef is not that people are rejecting whatever for masculinity or the assumption that, I don't know, fucking chopping down a tree is some kind of way more masculine than some dude sitting here playing video games. But I, I, don't, I don't see the correlation between playing video games and masculinity. That has nothing to do with anything. That's just how somebody chooses to spend their free time. So, a couple of days after that, I watched that. I watched the Netflix show Painkiller. And it's about how basically the Sackler family, like, just was handing out Schedule 2 narcotics and, like, Jolly Ranchers at Halloween. And how we ended up in, in the middle of the opioid situation in the United States. And I'm just like... As I'm watching all of this terribleness unfold on Painkiller, I'm like, okay, so I would, I'm, it's something that I've thought about a lot lately that I wouldn't, I wouldn't rather have somebody sitting around playing video games and like, you know, just playing video games and doing what they do in the house at least I know where they are. They're playing video games. They are contained. They're not harming anybody. They're not causing problems. They're not doing all this heinous shit to make the world a worse place. Meanwhile, these secular people are out here handing out, like I said, Schedule 2 narcotics. Like it's nothing. And then trying to gaslight everybody like, oh no, addiction is like the people's problem it's not us it's it's the people they they shouldn't be addicted like all opioids have a high potentiality for addictive to be addictive you know this people other people know this why are you again trying to gaslight everybody into thinking like oh this is safe and only like one percent of people end up addicted to stuff and it's like you also build up a tolerance on that stuff and this stuff messes up your brain i've watched so many things where basically it messes up the receptors in your brain where basically you're like oh i need this i need more of this can i have like 11 more hundred grams because that is just how your body works every you build up a tolerance over time and then you need more and that's how you get addicted but no no it's the people that are addicted not the drugs the drugs the, <laughs> the drugs are rock solid the drugs are sound speak ill of me all you wish but never ever speak ill of the drugs so i don't know but it's just like you know these people are out here making the world a way a far worse place a far more dangerous fucked up place and people who are playing video games are just minding their own damn business coupled with that i saw something today that this big time youtube channel the residents of evil they're making like fan movies and they have all this cool stuff that they're gonna do with like a resident evil fan movie and they're collaborating with other youtubers and resident evil channels and it's just like 
Okay, so in addition to video game people not actively making the world a worse, more fucked up place, they're actually taking something that was a hobby and turning it into something really cool. And that's the other thing. It's like all this talk about, oh, well, these people are bad because they play video games. You never know where that moment of escapism is going to lead somebody to. So Resident of Evil is doing a fan movie. They also have like a, a indie horror game that they were working on. I don't know where that is in the process, but they were doing that. Um, one of the people that they're collaborating with, he is a cinematographer, an award-winning cinematographer, all from playing video games. You never know where that moment of escapism is going to lead to. And even if it never leads to anything, even if, because not every hobby on the, under the sun should be commodified and used as like a means to make money. If it's something that you enjoy, my suggestion is don't turn it into like a monetizable thing because it'll suck all the joy. It's like sticking a, a straw in something and <sighs> sucking all the joy out of it. But even if it never leads to anything, again, Somebody playing video games is in the house, not fucking with anybody, not making the world a worse, more shitty place, and they're always demonized as bad or wrong, and it's not bad or wrong to play video games. So there's no difference between some somebody playing video games and somebody enjoying a sports team. I don't know why people think the two aren't like a thing, but... It's like, it's all escapism. As long as nobody's harming other people or themselves, I don't see what the fuck the big deal is. Let these people enjoy their moment and you sit down and shut the fuck up. Because I really didn't like that on that MSNBC thing and <sighs> I don't get it. And like I said, I there's a whole host of things I didn't like about that. But again, you got rich people, the Sacklers handing out Schedule 2 narcotics, actively making the world worse versus people who are playing video games who take in that and turn it into fan movies and turn it into like, you know, cool, amazing things. You tell me who's the bigger fucking problem. But it was just something I was thinking about when I, especially after seeing that Resonance of Evil thing and it's something I've had in my head for a few, like a few days. But that's all I have and I will see y'all at some point. All right? later.